Whitney Syracuse, female-owned American Fashion Network, just won a nearly $47 million bid with the federal government. It's awesome for them. Now in its 16th year, owner Jackie Wilson never thought the company would actually make it this far. But as News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc shows us, they're paving the way in retail. It may seem like a small operation here at American Fashion Network in East Syracuse, but they're doing big things. Owner Jackie Wilson and her team just won a multi-million dollar contract with the U.S. Marine Corps. It's a life changer for sure. They're providing workout wear for Marines who haven't seen a change in their fitness training uniforms in decades. The government designed it all and they worked with American suppliers to get it done. So every component of this item, the shirt and the pant and the short have to be made in the United States down to the thread. By June, the company will be sending out 150 sets to the Marines. They'll be testing out the product and then the big order should be coming either late this year or early next year. This order means so much more to us than just getting a really great order. It's, uh, it's our opportunity to serve. But it wasn't easy to get here. Like many others, Wilson and her team were struggling during COVID, letting people go and closing their operation in LA. They found a niche in mask making, but then they got the idea to get into the government contracting business. From there, they took online courses, worked with a consultant, submitted the bid, and got the call they'd been waiting for. Does this kind of prove to you guys that really anything is possible? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think after the whole process, we can take our learnings from this particular opportunity, and I think the sky's the limit. And they're not stopping here. Their sights are set on all branches of the military. We will be known as the greatest manufacturer of physical training apparel for our military. That's our goal. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Yeah, love it. AFN was among 17 total bidders for the government contract, which will last for five years. They're getting ready to submit other bids very soon.